Police Chief Jay Ziegler believes self-defense training arms officers with the skills needed to effectively gain control of a hostile situation. In police work, uh, your objective is not to uh, to, to hurt someone, uh, it's, it's more usually focused on gaining control of someone. If I grab your elbow with your finger, now I'm complete control of you. I can walk you everywhere with one finger lock. Chief Ziegler and several of his officers are taking now, part in a training course with martial arts expert Michael DePasquale Jr. DePasquale teaches a program specially designed for law enforcement officers at the DePasquale Defense Academy in Rivervale. The Immobilized, Neutralized, Finalized Defensive Tactics Program, also known as INF, incorporates a form of jujitsu and joint manipulation. The Immobilized, which is a stand-up technique, neutralizing is the halfway point, how you neutralize a person, and finalizing, how do you handcuff them. The INF Defensive Tactics Program is a great way for officers to learn how to get control of a situation without using excessive force, such as if someone's going to come at an officer with a punch. Lock in, straight in, lock. Now what you're having is, can you grab me? No. It's jujitsu at its finest, but it's also understanding how do you recognize using the joint manipulation that we teach where to go with that person and how to handcuff them without hurting them. Deepasqual says the training is intense in order to mimic scenarios that officers may encounter while out on patrol. You go home with a bunch of bruises, but uh, it, it, it's, it's very beneficial. The more you study, the more confident you are in your own ability to control the situation, whether it's, whether it's physically or verbally. Zickler says the program is being paid for out of part of the police department's training budget. In Rivervale, Jennifer Madden for your New Jersey News Now on New York One.